Hey pups, Arby here, and welcome or welcome back to another top 10 video. And today's top 10 is going to be about anime movies. Keep in mind that this is my own list of some of my favorites. And if you see your favorite you like on this list or didn't see it on here, let me know in the comments and tell us your favorite anime movie down below. Also, I won't be counting any of the Pokemon movies or movies from anime series. So if you're expecting to see Sailor Moon, Super S, the movie, or Dragon Ball Z, Battle of the Gods, yeah, they're not gonna appear on this list. So I'm gonna to try to keep them off the list and keep them strictly from an anime movie that isn't from an anime TV series. I will be counting Ghibli films because why not? That being said, let's get started. A Silent Voice. This movie is about a class bully who bullies a deaf girl with a bunch of the other kids joining in. But this kid took it to the extreme. When the girl gets hearing aids to help her hear better and to understand what the other kids are saying, Shoya, the bully, literally rips Shoka's, the deaf girl's, hearing aids off to the point where her ears are bleeding. Shoya is then shunned and casted out by not just his classmates, but his other quote-unquote friends as well, who also had a hand in bullying her. Years later when they become high schoolers, Shoya tries to take his own life, but then decides it wouldn't help things or solve problems. So he decides to make an attempt to redeem himself, and befriend Shoko, and things do happen, but I won't spoil it. Check the movie out for yourself, and you'll see how it ends. Perfect Blue Created by the same mind behind Tokyo Godfathers, Paparika, and millennium actress Sotoshi Kon, may God rest his soul, a pop star Mima, retires from the pop star life and the girl band Cham to pursue her dream as an actress. Things tend to go south quickly as soon as she leaves Cham. She ends up getting a stalker who also hosts a blog called Mima's Room as she involves herself in a lot of risque parts of fame and fortune instead of being part of the pure innocence that was her pop star life and even beginning to think none of her is real. After there's a bunch of murders involving co-actors, a photographer, and even one of her agents. Also, be warned, this film has some triggering scenes such as one involving S.A., which I'm obviously not going to show, but the film overall is interesting and very entertaining and shows us what life is really like for actors, pop stars, and other famous idols and influencers in our lives. Again, trigger warnings for S.A., stalking, and other traumatizing scenes the film may or may not contain. I don't recommend this to younger otakus, the film was rated R, so don't watch it until you're fully prepared for it all, or you're 18 and up. Marai, directed by the same man behind other anime movies like Summer Wars, Wolf Children, and The Boy and the Beast, Marai is about a four-year-old coon having to adjust his new life with his baby sister of the same name, Marai. And as most young children do when new babies are in the family, gets jealous and into a lot of trouble, which then leads him to meet a human version of the family dog, Yoko, Marai from the future, which that's what the name means by the way, their mom when she was about Kuhn's age, and their great-grandfather from the past. The visuals and everything about the movie is amazing. I honestly recommend it to anyone who wants a good anime movie with good visuals and an interesting storyline. Kiki's Delivery Service, one of the first Ghibli films to appear on this list. It's basically about a witch named Kiki who moves into a city and helps a couple who own a bakery and also having a baby on the way. And throughout the film, Kiki tries to find what craft or power she's good at as a witch. And this is one of, if not many Ghibli films, a lot of anime fans recommend the young otakus to start out with. To which I agree and recommend as well. It's a super cute movie, it's witch themed, and it has a cute little kitty cat. Enough said. My Neighbor Totoro, another Ghibli anime fan favorite and an all-time classic among Ghibli. Two sisters, Mei and Satsuki, move into a new home with their father who works as a professor at a university and they meet the creature Totoro, whom is only seen by children and a bunch of stuff happens in the film. And this big fluffy guy of adorableness is basically Ghibli's mascot. He's like the Pikachu or Hello Kitty of Ghibli. And this is the most recommended anime film for young anime fans, which, again, I agree and recommend as well. The movie is a cult classic and super adorable and sweet. If watching this movie on loop forever is a punishment, 
then I would gladly take that punishment. Blood, The Last Vampire. This is an interesting one. The film takes place around the 1960s with a girl who's also a vampire slayer and on a mission on a high school US military base and goes undercover as a student and uses the samurai sword known as a katana to kill vampires. I've only seen a few clips and trailers of the film, but I can already tell that I like it and would recommend it to anyone who likes darker animes like myself. If you're into animes like Tokyo Ghoul, Black Butler, Demon Slayer, and Soul Eater, then I recommend this anime to you. The Cat's Return. Another one I've only seen trailers for. The Cat's Return is basically a movie filled with cats. Not quite like the musical Cats, but something more different and cuter. I basically put it on this list because cats. Cats are cute, right? Right? Ponyo. Another popular Ghibli film, it's about a magical fish named Ponyo who meets a human boy named Sasuke and befriends him and later turns into a human to be with him via licking the cut and healing it after he saves her from being trapped in a glass jar she got stuck in. The movie kind of plays off like The Little Mermaid, except Ponyo doesn't sell her soul and have her voice taken away by an evil sea witch. Considering there is no evil sea witch in this movie, just an overbearing and overprotective father. Plus, the movie was made with watercolors. That is amazing! Mike he has a true artistic genius. Also, I apologize for mispronouncing the person's name who is in charge of Ghibli Studios. Forgive me! Wolf Children. What can I say about this movie that hasn't already been said? Wolf Children is about a widow mother with werewolf kids. After their father passed on, she moves to the countryside and both Ambi and Yuki grow and learn in both forms, wolf and human. The coming of age film has beautifully done animation, a great story, and is one of my favorites that I always recommend people to check out. It's super cute, but there's one that's always gonna be my all-time favorite, and that is... Spirited Away. Probably one of the first anime films and Ghibli movies I was introduced to at a young age. The movie is about a young girl, Shihiro, who has to learn about bravery and courage after her family finds a bathhouse for the spirits and her parents turn into pigs via eating the spirits' food and works in the bathhouse under the new name Sen. And the movie is another Ghibli classic and one I always recommend people to watch and is, once again, my all-time favorite. And the characters and film itself are what got me interested in Ghibli and all anime films. Heck, No Face is a fan favorite. He may look scary in some scenes, but he's really lonely and wants Shihiro to be his friend. And he's just an overall cute character. He's a precious boy. And Haku's dragon form, pure chef's kiss. And this is pretty much all I have to say on it. Anything else would just be nitpicks. All right, those are my favorite anime films. If you have a favorite one that wasn't on this list, be sure to share in the comments below. And with all that being said and done, I'll see you in the next one, pups. Cue the outro. RP is out. Peace.